Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at AWSI 2021. I'm here with Mr. Sleezak. How you doing, sir? Dude, I'm doing wonderful. And you've got some amazing Patagonia suits this year. Yeah, man. We, uh, you know, Patagonia, it's sort of been a pinnacle of the surf side, is having a wetsuit and having a, a, a both not only a really warm wetsuit, durable wetsuit, but the goal of for, for years now has been sustainability. You know, uh, the sort of dark horse in wetsuits is everything's, you know, petroleum based, yep. virgin rubber. Uh, and although that's, you know, it's great, it's sort of, it's a little hard on the environment and it's a little hard for our world to kind of in this sort of surf, kite surf, wing surf realm to be able to continue that uh, into the future. So what we've done here at Patagonia, uh, you know, it's been a handful of years now. We introduced and work with a, a company called Ulex, which is a, a uh, plant-based rubber. Uh, there is still a little bit of virgin neoprene in there just to kind of give you the added stretch, but we're uh, bas basically 80% plant-based uh, and still continuing to push the envelope in that realm. Um, so with our newest line of suits, you know, Ulex being a plant-based rubber, we didn't quite have, some of the earlier suits didn't have the same exact stretch uh, that you would get out of, of your, your virgin suits on the rack. So one thing we've been working on is, is the stretchability and just that comfort and, and fit overall of the suit. So what we have now is, is by far uh, the stretchiest that we've had and the most comfortable, easiest to get in and out. Um, and really it's just trying to kind of bring something to the consumer that they can feel good about purchasing. These do fall under our ironclad guarantee where Patagonia will repair uh, and or replace panels, seams on the suit, reseal the, the liquid tape seal. Uh, so once you get that suit, you know, you know you can have that thing for the life of the suit or as long as, you know. You're living. As well, as lo <laughs> long as you keep yourself going yeah, in and out of the water. Yeah, I mean, let's be for real. Yeah, which is great. Um, yeah, and really, you know, that kind of goes all the way along our lines from our, our you know, wetsuit accessories, like uh, the wetsuit tops we have here, um, all the way up to like, you know, I have here an, an R3, hooded R3, so, you know, kind of our, in the Northwest, this is like one of our, one of the... The go-to. Oh, the go-to, like, <laughs> always living in the, in the bag, whether it's the coast, whether it's, you know, the spring, fall, and winter here in the gorge. Um, we're fortunate enough to have the water warm up enough to where we can get out of them in the summertime and, you know, be in board shorts and a top or maybe a shorty. But this suit is by far the most worn suit I have. Uh, and I, I kind of recommend it for anybody uh, that needs that, that warmth and that comfort. Um, yeah, and the thing is just, it's amazing. So what we have is a recycled polyester lining so this grid material that you see here, this is a full 100% recycled polyester. Um, it's also solution dyed. And what that means is instead of vat dyeing, like, like maybe some traditional materials, which is a lot of wasteful water, you know, they're dipping material into a vat and then all that stuff essentially is a byproduct, right? Gets dumped into, ultimately gets dumped out, goes into the rivers, f ends up in our oceans. Uh, solution dyed is where they actually dye the yarn. So the yarn itself is dyed before the fabric's woven. So use a lot less water in the process. Um, and that's our entire lining here. Um, it's also one thing that our old suits had very colorful liners. We've kind of uh, taken that down to just the cuffs. Um, and again, the reason being is solution dyeing this allows us to dye all of our liners the same, saves water, uh, and yet you still know what sort of level of suit you have. So our R3s are orange, R4s are red, R5s, which is for the coldest water, uh, is white. And then uh, our R2s are, what is it, green, and then our R1s are blue. So you can kind of see color coding here. Thin that's the conditioned or the, how cold? Yeah, it's you know your thickness of your neoprene uh, and yeah, and how cold. So our R1 here, we have like a little 1.5, 1.5 top, um, up to what you can see on the inside of of our R3s, our 3545, uh, and then you know as the thicknesses go up, uh, obviously your your thicker number is your core, your thinner number are your extremities. Um, and just makes for a, 
a great suit and sort of a great lineup that you can sort of fit into whatever your conditions are, you know, whether that's just needing a top in somewhere where you're pretty much warm all year all the way to that R5 is, you know, sort of sub-Arctic surfing. F freezing, freezing. Yeah. <laughs> you're saying hi to the Eskimos. <laughs> yeah, the Alaska, the poles, you might be paddling out through some ice, some yeah. snow on the beaches. A little bit too cold for my blood. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I know you've got a, a fairly large line of wetsuits. Uh, for more information on sizing, on the the sustainability of all the stuff, the the technical, all the technical stuff on all the wetsuits, because it's um, just amazing what you guys have done. Where can they go and find that? So Patagonia.com, you can find all that information. It's super easy to search by either sport category, uh, search by wetsuits. You know, we have a full line of men's suits, full line of women's suits, and you know. Also on there, you can really look into, you know, Patagonia. Not only have we done our sustainability within the wetsuits, but really the company was founded on and continues to really push its environmental initiatives. Uh, and what we've really focused on in the last few years and will continue focusing on is taking global initiatives and bringing them to a local level. So uh, our ambassador network around the globe is honing in on what's really needed in their specific regions. Uh, and you can go to that. Um, so if you're looking for the information on our sustainability of wetsuits, it's there. Uh, there's also a, a program we run called ActionWorks, which you can find at Patagonia.com, which allows any general consumer and any person to get involved in their area. So you can sort of put yourself on a list, put in your region and find out, you know, where you can get involved and how you can sort of, you know, be a part of the solution versus a part of the problem. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jason. Thank you. Thank you.